I had dreams and aspirations of playing college ball since I was probably five years old. And, and took an unconventional route to get to it, but it, it ultimately it helped me fulfill a dream that I had for as long as I can remember. I mean, my foot was shattered. I remember them cutting my shoelaces and pulling my foot, pulling my shoe off, and my foot just folded open. Yeah. And going, taking me from the stretcher to the uh, ambulance, they had to have somebody at the end of the stretcher to hold my foot together. My wife and I were going into our local community center for a homeowner associating meeting one night, and I knew what a wheelchair basketball looked like. Saw a bunch of guys going into the same community center with wheelchair basketballs. Got tired of the homeowner associated meeting, went downstairs, started meeting the guys that play wheelchair basketball, started practice, practicing with them next week. After our last game, a guy came up to me and asked me if I'd ever consider playing college ball. Once I found out that it was a, a possibility, I, that's, that's what I was going to do. I, mean, I, I was going for it and it, there was no stopping me. In AB ball, you can see a lot of individualism and like people just want to shoot points. But when it comes to wheelchair basketball, you actually have to work together. And that's just what I love, that teaching environment of working together. There's so much stuff to wheelchair basketball. You have to do weeds, you have to do cross picks. And with basketball, like you, ha you still have picks and stuff. It's just, I just think it's 10 times cooler being in a wheelchair playing basketball. And I'm always on the ground. When I get down, I can, I can kick my feet out a little bit to stand on it. And then it's just this whole powerful arm motion. You're just pushing yourself and then you're catching yourself like with your whole body. So that's really hard. I'm working on it. Realize there's not just one set of people in wheelchairs. There's not just one set of categories of disability. And like that's why I love basketball. It just opens the minds of like, all these people are disabled. Well, look how awesome they can play basketball. Thankful for the schools that have, have these programs. It's kind of hard to put into words because you, you get injured and you become disabled and, and you don't know how much you're going to be able to do or what you're going to be able to do in life moving on from there. And then the more that goes on, you, you are able to live really a normal life and, and do anything and everything you want to do.